This is a render speed test between three different very but recent Apple devices. First, I'm gonna start off with the 13 inch MacBook Pro M1, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 of storage, but that really doesn't affect performance at all. Then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the 24 inch M1 iMac with 16 gigs of RAM, two terabytes of storage. Again, storage does not affect performance. And then we have the 16 inch MacBook Pro Intel i9 with 64 gigs of ram and eight terabytes of storage these devices are absolutely beastly and just to go ahead and review the cost of what these different devices are let me go ahead and share the different pricings of these beastly devices with you first the 13 inch m1 macbook pro that came in with apple care two thousand one hundred five dollars and 76 cents so all this and everything else going on about oh you can get this m1 for 1200 bucks macbook pro maybe maybe not you want a storage can't really do much with 128 or 512 i don't know if it comes in 128 but can't really do much with 512 256 is probably the more popular and most affordable one i went for 512 and already it is not enough storage this can never be my daily anything other than using it around the house some quick edits things like that maybe travel maybe an extra computer on the side if I gotta go somewhere but it can't be my daily because of the 512 storage next I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the i9 MacBook Pro now this was crazy expensive it came in with Apple care seven thousand five hundred seventy three dollars and forty six cents now I will share with you I got mine right at about six thousand dollars a little bit over I looked it up last night I had misquoted what I paid for it the other day and I do apologize about that so I only paid not only I paid six thousand dollars for that MacBook Pro but it is the i9 64 gigs of ram and eight terabytes of storage and that is what i am paying for on that device and the 16 inch the screen the size but it's not the battery <laughs> so moving on to the iMac m1 this one is kind of my favorite right now we're at 16 gigs of ram which if you can do it with 16 gigs you can do it with 16 gigs you won't gotta get crazy i'm happy with the 16 gigs of ram in this two terabytes of storage storage that cost me $2,854.76. All of these devices I pay for on my own. Nobody sends them to me. No one is paying for this review. What I want to do is I want to showcase to you guys these three very different devices, these very different Apple computers at varying stages. If anything, the iMac and the 13 inch MacBook Pro are the closest as far as when it comes to specs. So I'm really interested to see how these two M1s bear up against this 16 inch 64 gigs. 64 gigs is a lot, but can it do anything with it? That's the question. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started, put this together, and then we're gonna go ahead and talk about the differences in the speed. Right, guys and gals, the verdict is in and the results are illuminating. And I've been thinking about how do I help anybody feel better about purchasing a 16 inch MacBook Pro within the past nine months? since the M1s came out? I don't know if I can. Let me just share with you what we discovered today. Now, this was the battle of the processors. This was the battle of the RAM. This was Apple against Apple. Apple's top tier against Apple's top tier. 
not usually a test that we do, not on this channel. Now I wanna go ahead and share with you these results. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the 13 inch MacBook Pro. This is the M1, 16 gigs of RAM, again, 512 storage. My opinion, not enough. You need at least a terabyte, especially if you're a creator and you've got these big files like we got, cause our files be big. The 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro came in at three minutes and 36 seconds to render this 11 minute video and i know let me just let me just double check with you so what we're actually talking about is the rendering of a 11 minutes and 29 second video in three minutes and 36 seconds that's pretty amazing in 11 minute video in 1080 three minutes and 36 seconds now if we were to do this exact same test in 4k the results might be a little bit different but maybe we will go ahead and do a 4k test next we're going to go ahead and move on to the m1 24 inch imac that gave us the rendering 11 minutes and 29 seconds came in at one minute and 36 seconds less than two minutes it took less than two minutes for the m1 imac to render in an 11 and a half minute video pretty impressive right that price that we're looking at right here is 2800 bucks with everything and apple care included now moving on to the 16 inch i9 64 gigs of ram again eight terabytes of storage doesn't do anything to performance m1 imac one minute and 36 seconds 16 inch macbook pro 64 gigs of ram i have to say i'm embarrassed it came in at one minute and 39 seconds and i know what you're thinking it is literally three seconds three seconds difference it shouldn't be that bad it's basically unnoticeable three seconds have passed several times over and you haven't even realized it but you get the 64 gigs of RAM. You also are getting a bigger portable screen, but you're missing out on other things. I think the M1 13 inch MacBook Pro performed the worst. Maybe it's the size. Both MacBook Pros were unplugged when I did this test, so that way they weren't relying upon plug-in battery to power them. Nothing I could do about the 24 inch iMac. It had to be plugged in or it doesn't work. Those are the results. To go ahead and recap, 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro, three minutes and 36 seconds. 24 inch M1 beautifulness, one minute and 36 seconds. 16 inch macbook pro again m1 16 gigs of ram 13 inch macbook pro 16 gigs of ram i9 16 inch macbook pro 64 gigs of ram one minute and 39 seconds that's crazy it is literally bought refurbished about six thousand bucks with apple care but you're doubling the price for what to be able to have it portable that's it and you still don't have the same amount of power now why did we stay and do all of this because it is clear to me the world is in need of a 16 inch m1 macbook pro and i think it is coming around the corner there are words there are leaks there are things being said by other people that know more than i do and i'm super excited guys thanks for watching the video i love spending time with you hopefully you find this video useful maybe it prevent you from spending more money than you need to or it's helping you feel a little bit better about the purchase that you've already made till next time for the love of tech namaste